In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple parallax with brushes and clips to do paint. Before we start, because this is a parallax, we want a large canvas and use the camera function for the animation. So I'm using the standard 1920 by 1080 multiplying up by 3. So 5860 multiplied by 3240. Don't worry if it's too large because we'll be exporting in 1920 by 1080. We'll also be using the camera function, which will also make the canvas smaller. So we want to go into effects tool, which will have the two stars, and then there will be a subtool called vegetation. This will include brushes such as foliage, trees, and grasses, which we'll all use. If you don't have the animation timeline below, then you just need to press the button with the vertical lines and two dots. We're going to use the tree brush, so I'm using the brush to generate trees alike. So the trees are still too small, so I'm selecting each individual trees and using the lasso tool, I'm going to make them larger. So I decided to duplicate this. To do this, drag the first layer out of the animation folder, duplicate them, then place where you want them to be. Then merge them again. You will need the animation folder as we're not going to need any cells to animate. After I'm happy with the placements of the trees, I'm going to change their colour. So pick the colour you like, I'm choosing dark blue. And go to edit and click convert drawing to colour. This will change the whole drawing colour. I'm going to move on to the next step. So I changed the names to their respective placement. So this is the mid-ground. Let's move on to the foreground. Using the mixture of grasses available, I use a darker colour for the foreground to create depth. I'm going on with the middle part of the foreground and the middle ground, which I'm going to call for middle ground. This is to fill in the scenery a bit. So it's still looking empty. Let's go on with the background. Before that, I'm going to change the paper color. You can do this by double clicking on it. Then the color setting should pop up. Then you can just pick any color you like. I'm going to go with the blue again, so it just suits with the colour palette. I'm going to add more trees in the background and create a new layer in the middle and the background, which I'll call the uh, middle background. This is where I add more trees and grass for more depth. I also change the colour so it looks better. I'm locking the middle ground layer and adding a gradient so it looks more interesting. Once everything looks good, let's start with the animation. Go to animation, new animation layer, then 2D camera folder. Select the layers and drag them into the camera file. Press O on the keyboard or just the cube with the arrow on it on the side. Make the blue outline smaller. This is where the camera, this is what the camera will see and will automatically create a keyframe, which is a blue diamond below on the timeline. To see what the camera sees, there is a display mode where there are two people. One option is the view we're currently seeing and the other is what the camera sees. Keep adjusting until you're happy with what you're seeing. Drag the red line on the timeline to the end to create a new keyframe. Then select the camera view and press select while dragging it while dragging the blue outline to create to make it linear. Now when you play the timeline you should have basic parallax. So 
so the playback is still really laggy. So let's change that. Let's go to animation, playback settings and press prefer speed. So currently the playback is slow at the start and speeds up then slows down again at the end. If you want to change this so it's a constant speed you can go to the graph editor which is a tiny graph on the side of the timeline. So it's currently in S shape and we want it to be a straight line so toggle the handle to make it straight. So she's still looking pretty bland. So I'm going to add some fireflies to make it more interesting. I'm going to use the airbrush to create yellow boys. And add keyframes and drag them around. This will automatically create a tween. Add more keyframes to make it move more naturally rather than it rather than in a straight line. You can use the graph editor to make more movements by toggling the handles. So I'm just keeping it in the blue rectangle so it doesn't fly out of view. Then I just duplicate them and moving the keyframes so that so they don't sync up. Then you're done. Export the animation, go to file, export movie, choose your location, make the width 1920 by 1080 and make sure you tick the apply 2D camera effects and in the correct frame rate that you just animated in, in this case 25 FPS. Then you're done.